Okay, so we're going to do a scroll box here. And I'm going to use my demo site as usual. So here's my demo site. And let's say on my demo site that I decide I want to go a little further down here. Um, but I don't, I don't want to go too far. Like, and then once I go farther, I want it to start scrolling. I just don't want my page to be massive, right? It's already big enough because I have to change my resolution when I connect to the monitor in here. Uh, so what you do is you find the main division that's holding all this information. So I would start by clicking in one of them, and then I'd use okay, this properties panel here with all the divisions on it to find out which one. So this is just a div box. That's just holding place, that's just holding information inside of the main div. So go to the main div, okay? Whenever you see a number sign, that's an actual ID. And you can do this with an ID. If you don't see the number sign, if it's just a dot, it's a class and it's just maintaining a specific format within the division. Okay? So with this main ID, which is div content, I'm going to decide to make this a scroll box. So here you're looking at it now, obviously it's not scrolling in design view. Here's what you do. You go in here, div content, you go in here to current, and that's the one you're highlighting. When you open it, you can always make sure up here that you're still on that one. Go to box and give it a specific height. So tell it that you don't want it to be any bigger than, let's say 700. Okay, and let's just test it out and see how big that is. Uh, it's box. It's so each time you have an actual div ID, when you highlight it in, this is how to avoid having to go into the CSS and mess with it in there. You highlight it here in your properties panel, and you go in here and just double click anywhere. Okay, I double clicked on the actual height, so I go right to box. But it starts with type, and if there's nothing in there, it's it's because it's picking it up from the body. So background, it does have a background just for that division. Block, there's nothing in there. This is more set up for like a menu to kind of thing. But box is something you use often. This is where you can pad it and move the stuff closer in, further out, things like that. If I give it a specific height and tell it I don't want it to be any bigger than that, then I can go and make the scroll so that it scrolls when it gets bigger than that. If I don't give it a height and just turn on scroll, it won't work. You have to set a height first, and then in positioning, under overflow, you go auto. You don't even have to choose scroll, just choose auto and that way it'll always come up gray and it'll fit with everything. And then hit apply. So now, you don't see anything here, right? Let's go to live view, okay? Now do you think we're gonna see a scroll yet? I don't know for sure, let's, let's see what happens. So live view, no, not yet, now why not? What was the height I set? Probably uh, because it's not bigger than 700. Let's say I had a bunch of content to add into the bottom part here, okay? I just added this big, uh, uh, Mike Sloan email I put in this to this uh, website, so it was rather long, right? Okay, and you can see if, if I do that, it's just going to make this page really, really long. But this division, this stuff up here, will still be way, way up there, and then you'll go past the menu, and you lose the menu. The advantage here is that you get to keep the menu. So I put a bunch of extra content in there, and if I go to Live View now, all of a sudden this cool scroll bar appears, and I can scroll down into that content. So let's open it up in a browser and check it out. Okay. By the way, when you're connected to the site, and uh, I'm not, here, cancel. When you're connected to the site and you go to preview in a browser, it always tries to upload the files automatically. That's what it does when you're connected, even if you don't have a testing server, because I think I took my testing server off here. Um, this, is, this is a bit annoying. So if you, if you want to preview in a browser without doing that, you would just go, and I think it does the same thing if I remove the testing server. Let's see what happens when I try and preview in browser. Okay, index, index. Preview in Firefox, save changes. Some files, I can look. Oh, it does work if you remove the testing server, cool. Okay, there's another cool thing. I, I'm not gonna make a separate video just for that. So I, I always have a testing server because I think it's good practice to get into. If it really bugs you guys and annoys you that every time you try and preview in a browser from Dreamweaver, it has to upload all your files, then just remove the testing server. Because I tried that before and it didn't work. I thought that's how I'd get rid of it. So then in Firefox, you can see what I've made here. See before, this content would have pushed way down past here and then you get to the point where you're losing this. And if my resolution was like it normally is with me, I would st almost still have my menu in there getting to the bottom, and then if I want to read the rest of this, use the scroll bar. So really simple tool you can use to make your site a little more user friendly if you have a page with that much content. Okay, and now I'm going to show you another thing 
which is how to make it just so one division scrolls, not every single one. And that's going to be in the next video.